I don't like these kids. You've got to stay in your room. Come and see. Why? So she doesn't see you. Who? Too late. The lady. What lady? The lady in the lake. Flora. Hell no! Flora, look. Miss Clayton. Look! Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Dickhead. I hate that kid. Look, I've been a teacher for nine years, Miles. That's almost your whole life. And all that time, a lot of kids have tried to scare me in a lot of different ways. Mm. And you know what I learned? I'm a lot braver than people think. Mm. Including me. Take that, you arrogant little shit. You spoke with my uncle. Well, of course, he hired me. Did he ask about us? He misses you both. Very much. No, he doesn't. Of course he does. Shall we give him a ring and ask? The Hope Pair's heart ached for the boy's pain. But like the very weather it lies, his moods proved quick to change. Secret laws. Just for them. Oh shit, who's that? Should twin brother. Mm, no, no waiver. Well, fuck. If that's even possible. Hello. What's for lunch? Bangs and mash. <laughs> Who was it? I uh, don't know, they hung up. Again? Another one. Oh, we've had some uh, prank calls. That was probably just a wrong Thank number. Thank you. <sighs> the gardener did not even introduce herself to the new old pair. She barely acknowledged her at all. Simply treated her as if she'd always been there. The others in the room just assumed they'd already met. Which, if... She were honest, was how the au pair felt when she first saw the young woman. Hmm. I saw a guy on the parapet on my way in. On the parapet? Yeah. Are you sure you saw someone up there? Absolutely. I waved. He didn't wave back. Well, the only way up there is through the old wing. Mm. And where don't we go? The old, the old wing. wing. Oh, you must have imagined it, dear. Uh... Again, I... Well, you're not going to eat anything? Oh, no, I already ate. Just here for the company. You must I... try this. Laura, don't. Why doesn't she ever eat? What's that about? Is she a ghost? Are they all dead? What, what is happening? <laughs> okay, that's who they are. That was the old mum and dad. Is she in the old way? You were specifically told. You would. They told you, don't go in the old wing. What are you doing? Oh, shit. That's even worse than the statues. Stuff covered in, in sheets. This with the voodoo dolls and that bloody kid. What? Candles? Oh, and I get. Hello? What's her deal? Oh, Flora, Flora. I've seen a few of these. Well, you can't judge them. Not after what they've been through. Mr. Wingrave told you about their parents, I'm sure. Only that they passed. Mm. Two years ago now. 
Hi. Price is only eight, floor of six. <laughs> and that's enough bad love for any two children to be able then to think what came after. Rebecca, poor Rebecca. There was a man. Which really is the only thing that can bring down a woman like that. You know, we skipped town. We're tied to some of Henry's money and the poor thing's heart. And she was gone long before she waded into that lake. Oh. Flora found her. And Jamie found Flora. Sure. To hear her tell it, Rebecca's body in that water, face down. And little Flora just stone still, staring. It's a tiny game of florists to keep us all safe. Us. God, my God, these children. What are the candles for? The dead. It's more than that I'd like the order I get. I'm sorry. Oh, God, no need. <laughs> I have been, and I remain, a very happy woman. What did you eat, then? Time for bed. Is it? I shouldn't think so. No more games, Miles. Do you like games, Danny? Not at bedtime. It's the best time for games, really. Stop being weird, Miles! Thanks. I don't like that kid. Just promise me that when you're keeping us all safe, that you keep yourself safe first. And no going on the parapet. OK. You really are, you know. I'm what? Perfectly splendid. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Miss Clayton, I was just about to tuck you in. There's an electric uh, fan in Flora's cupboard. I cannot sleep without it, I'm afraid. That, that's why, my cupboard. Would you fetch it for me? I'm awfully sorry. OK, let's Oops. look. They're gonna lock her in that bloody cupboard. Mm. They're gonna lock her in the cupboard! I don't see it. it. Must be under some clothes. What the fuck? Okay. What the shit? I don't like Guys. these kids. Open the door. I don't like this. Laura! Oh, I don't like pranks. The key is in the lock, Flora. Turn the key. It's not. You can't find it. Fuck off. Miles. Flora. You motherfucker. Open the door. Little shit. Not Open again. It was not. I am sorry. I know you're fucking naughty little mess. Please don't be cross. Be as cross as I damn well like you little bastards. Not a fan of the children. Not a fan. Oh, I. It's the bloody thing, don't... Oh, fuck it. Fuck. 
fuck this. Just get out. Is that thing going to come off her? If that thing is not there in a second, I'm going to freak the fuck out. It's not going to be there. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, you're outside. Oh, it's like she's walked in from the fucking lake. I like it. Oh, I don't like this at all. Are they, like, possessed? Because that boy seems like a proper creeper. Is he back? What the fuck? No! Is that it? Fucking hell. Ugh. Ugh. I don't feel like this is going to have, like, the wholesome... <laughs> the, the wholesome bits <laughs> that Eowise did. Um... I don't like, I really don't like many people. I like Owen. He seems nice. Um, I actually like the gardener woman. She seems to have her head screwed on. Uh, the housekeeper, the, the black woman with the beautiful um, skin head. Um, I like her, but I feel like she's holding something back and I don't understand why she's not eating, which makes me feel like she's dead. I, I just, I don't know. And, um, it seems like we're sharing the house with quite a few spirits. Um, really creepy. I don't know what the person with the eyes that light up is. But that was an interesting callback to Hill House with um, with Luke's vision of Olivia um, and the cards, you know, the car lights and everything. So I like that. I love Bly Manor. I think that's a really, I'm really interested that it's in England. I'm, a, I'm slightly perturbed by some of the accents. Um, Carla Gugini, who's playing whoever she's playing in this, I cannot work out what accent she is attempting to do. It began sounding Irish and then it went Northern English and now it's fallen somewhere between the two. So I, d I don't know what she was attempting. I'm gonna have to find that out for myself after the series, cause I don't want any spoilers. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the parents died two years ago. In comes Rebecca Bessel, then she kills herself in the lake. But we don't know, we don't yet know how the parents killed themselves. Did they kill themselves in the lake? Like, wh what's the story with how the parents died? Um, Flora seemed, at the beginning, I mean, everything was off by then. Like, I know she said, oh, it's perfectly splendid. But it was like everyone kept saying the same thing. It was a perfectly splendid, a great good place. Um, like... Delighted to meet you, you make your acquaintance. It is weird. Um, but she seemed to be trying to advise Danny to do things that would keep her safe from spirits, potentially. But at the same time, she seemed to be in direct communication with, I'm assuming, Rebecca. When you know, from when she was on the bath, it looked like she was actually talking to someone and finding out. Oh yeah, it's okay. You can actually wear the, you know, the head whatever it is. I've forgotten all my words right now. And yet the boy gave it to her. I really don't like Miles. He he really creeps me out. He, no, I don't. No, I don't get good vibes. I don't actually get terribly good vibes from Flora either. To be honest, I. I've, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't like it. And then we have that weird thing with the news that looks like Witchfinder General in the hallway. 
that turned and looked in um, Danny's direction when she was doing her midnight wonders. What role is that going to play? Is that a person? Is that a statue coming? To, I, I don't understand what it, it I've seen that before and I'm, I'm struggling to recall. But it seems like, and, and those footprints at the end really did look like, um, I'm assuming that would have been Rebecca's footprints, you know, walking around the house. I'm assuming she's still going to be wet, which is, if you watched Hill House, you know, the boat, the scariest thing to me in the world is the, is like the ring style, um, you know, woman dripping hair down over her face like that. That really freaks me out. And so the fact that it's laid in the lake and um, what we've seen so far, I'm starting to think. Nothing good is going to happen in this house or around water, and I'm probably going to see a ring style freaking soaking wet dead woman um, at least once. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It was a good introduction. Um, I, I love, I've got to say, um, Henry Thomas, is it Henry? What's his name? The chap who plays um, Hugh in. Point of Hill House. He his English accent. He he was p p speaking with an aristocratic English accent, and the sort of the drunk aristocrat is is quite a trope here, and he pulled it off spectacularly. I wouldn't have thought he had it in him to be honest. He nailed that. So fantastic job. Um, and yeah, I'm just interested to see who who was the guy on the parapet. I want to know who that is, because it doesn't, I assumed it would be the dad of, of Miles and Flora, but it, it clearly isn't, because I think we saw them in a picture, and they look completely different, so who is that? And I wonder also if there is any tie into Hill House at all with this, um, not the place, I mean the, the story itself, um, given that she's come over from the states but yeah i'm i'm interested i'm definitely going to be watching the next one my plan is to watch the entire season um to be able to make a real judgment about it but yeah that was a promising start um a good few jump scares in it and we'll see where episode two takes us until the next time bye bye